Degrassi News and more. This is Degrassi Radio. Hello, I'm Carrie, and today we are celebrating a little Degrassi anniversary. Nine years ago, on April 25th, 2008, the TNG Season 7 episode, Another Brick in the Wall, first aired on the Inn here in America. I don't know about you guys, but for me, Another Brick in the Wall, it is a fantastic episode from top to bottom. Every storyline touched by Darcy's rape in Season 7 is pure gold, and they did a really fantastic job with that arc of showing just how much of an impact a person's actions can have on other people. We saw that with the person who actually raped Darcy and how that basically sent her into an emotional tailspin. And then we saw how Darcy's emotional state, it led her to say something that almost destroyed Snake and his family. Now quickly recapping, after Darcy was raped, she didn't really tell anyone what had happened to her, but she did accidentally end up blurting out what happened to her to Snake. And from that point on, they sort of had a little bond going on, and she started gaining these romantic feelings for Snake and started flirting with him. And when Snake rejected her, that's when Darcy lied and said that Snake had touched her inappropriately. So he was suspended from Degrassi for that. Now, another brick in the wall picks up with the investigation. Snake, he has done nothing wrong. He didn't do what Darcy said he did, so his name is cleared, and he's free to go to work. But the problem is, people at Degrassi still think he's a pedophile. One of the parents decides to pull their kid out of Snake's class, and then there's also this website dedicated to depicting Snake as a pervert. Now, it's pretty easy to watch an episode like this and sort of be detached from the heavy weight of what's going on, but let me remind you that this is an absolutely horrific situation that Snake is in in this episode. How can you possibly defend yourself against this public perception that you've sexually abused a child? You can't. You simply can't. There's nothing that Snake can do to convince other people that he didn't do what Darcy said. And so for that reason, we see Snake spiral down emotionally and basically just give up on life. At the end of the episode, we see Spike. She's tired of Snake's nonsense. She's like, like you're not even trying to get your life back on track. So she decides she's going to move out and she takes Jack with her. And shout out to Emma for staying and supporting Snake and for trying to guide him into getting help so that he can cope with dealing with this very stressful situation that he didn't ask for. And on to the B-plot, which is a lot lighter and one of my favorite B-plots ever. Toby, he agrees to tutor Holly J in math under one condition. She tutors him for P.E., a.k.a. teaching him how to play Dance Dance Revolution. Now, I don't know if kids nowadays know what DDR is, but it was pretty hot back in the day. So they do their thing, and we see the scene where they're playing DDR, and they fall down, and we see some sparks between them. And let's be honest here, I probably would have shipped Toby and Holly J if they had actually gotten together. But then Anya walks in, and Holly J, she immediately acts very, just just acting like Toby is this gross pervert, trying to, to put on this front for her friends. And later, we actually find out that Holly J has a crush on Toby, but she was just pretending because she doesn't want, basically, she doesn't want to be seen with Toby. But she also wants to date him. Girl, do you not understand? That makes no sense. Thankfully, Toby is a smart human being, and he's like, you know what? No thanks. I'm not interested in dating you. And he gives us one of the greatest lines of Degrassi history. Toby Isaacs calls the shots. This is just a really great storyline, something we could all learn from. Holly J, she was embarrassed to be seen in with him in public. And she literally told Toby to his face, date me and people will actually like you. They'll actually think you're more than just a nerd. And Toby's like, screw you, I deserve better than you. And he does. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. When it comes to dating, don't lower your standards. Just don't do it. Learn from Toby, my friends. Your heart is not a game. You don't have time to be playing around with these people. If they can't treat you the way you deserve to be treated, they're not worth your time. Period. So another brick in the wall. It is a great episode. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can actually watch it here on YouTube if you want to. Degrassi is doing this thing where they're uploading the first 10 seasons of Degrassi TNG onto the official Degrassi YouTube channel. They haven't gotten to season 7 yet. Uh, I'll also leave a link to, well actually it's just YouTube.com slash Degrassi to where you can watch episodes from the first 6 seasons of TNG. And don't forget to like this video and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave comments below if you've seen another brick in the wall. Tell me what you think about the episode. What did you think about Snake's meltdown and things like, you know, Darcy trying to apologize for what she did to Snake? And the ship that never was. Your thoughts on Toby and Holly J. And that's going to do it for Degrassi Radio today. I'll catch you next time.